What are your thoughts on bulk food stores like Costco or Sam's Club? Burn them! <laughs> <laughs> it's a real gift and a curse, right? Yeah. Because what an amazing privilege that we have access to bulk supplies at a discount, yeah. right? And it makes sense. If you're buying in bulk, mm-hmm. you use less packaging, there's also less display in stores like that relative to like a Target or a, even a Walmart mm-hmm. where where they have giant pallets of things. And so they're able to sort of take the economy of it all and, and, and save you money. But also, it forces you to buy more of a product. Right. And if you don't need that much, then you're over-consuming. In a way, you're inadvertently hoarding excess stuff right now ryan and i have this rule called the just for win rule and it helps you identify it's different from the just in case rule both of these are in the minimalist rule book the minimalists.com slash rule book if you want to download it for free but the just for win rule says i buy certain things usually consumables and i will overbuy them because i know i'm going to use them so i'm buying them just for when i need them mm. and sam's club and Costco are great places to buy certain just for win items as long as I have enough space for them. Yeah. And so I don't want to buy a pallet of toilet paper. I don't have the space for a pallet of toilet paper. Right. But I do have enough space for a 24 pack of toilet paper. Mm-hmm. So I tend to buy a 24 pack or an 18 pack. And it's way more than I need today, hopefully. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I'm certain that I will use the kind that I use until we are low and then I'll buy another bulk supply again. But I have a boundary. It's whatever fits in the sink uh, underneath or in in my bathroom. (laughs) Keep your toilet paper in the sink? (laughs) (laughs) No, I understand. (laughs) (laughs) It's the worst place to keep it. It's really wet. It barely (laughs) even works, man. It's terrible. (laughs) You know you can just get wipeies, right? Like, (laughs) I guess I shouldn't be buying so much. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, Mariah and I, uh, we don't shop at Costco because it's just the two of us. Yeah. But I know, you know, I know minimalist families that go to Costco because they they have a whole family. So, like, it makes sense to buy in bulk. And so what's our perspective on it? Uh, it? It all depends. Yeah. But if you show up there and you make an impulse buys at a bulk food section, yeah, that's the worst thing, right? Because I don't even eat ramen noodles, but what a great deal. Yeah. Well, now mm-hmm. you're buying an unhealthy thing that is actually doing a disservice to you. Mm-hmm. And now you're buying it, not just one of them and, and eating it one time, mm-hmm. you're buying a case of the unhealthy thing. Yeah. And so if you, it's forcing you to buy things that you wouldn't typically buy because it's quote on sale or mm-hmm. it is quote discounted, well, it's a hundred percent off if you leave it on the shelf. Yeah. Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalist Private Podcast, available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.